The Internet Research Agency, LLC, is basically a building in St. Petersburg with a bunch of trolls sitting there trying to drive divisions in U.S. society. It's existed for years and years at this point, and they've done propaganda work in Russia, in Ukraine, and the like. The IRA specifically sent people to the United States to study the political sphere in the U.S. and to understand what the pressure points were. So in 2016, they were creating these fake American personas and then running ads as political groups. The depth of the content was surprising. Our assumption was that all of this content would be on one side politically. But what they had done very effectively was find a friction point and then try to manipulate people on both sides. The number one topic was actually Black Lives Matter. They created a fake persona to pretend to be a pro-Black Lives Matter activist and to push narratives that both would maybe radicalize people who are supportive of Black Lives Matter, but also look radical to more moderate people who could say like, oh, look at these people, you know, they're, they're, they're really nuts. They even, in a couple cases, tried to create protests where a pro-immigration group and an anti-immigration group protest one another by inviting people to events that were at the same time. Down with the racists! Down with the Nazis! We were surprised that Putin would care so much about who the next president was that he was so intent upon damaging me, damaging my campaign, preventing me, if he could, from becoming president. And also how adept they were in sowing disinformation, misinformation. It was unlike anything we'd ever seen. None of us kind of conceptualized this as the kind of groups we should be looking for. 